Hello. Today I'd like to talk about IntelliSense within workflows. IntelliSense is a sort of autocomplete for activities within workflows. It allows you to have a look at what functions and parameters are available for that particular activity. So let's go ahead and have a look at this. Firstly, I'll open up my workflow designer. Having opened up my workflow designer, I'm going to drag a set map extent activity into my sequence. Next, I'll click on the extent ellipse in the properties of the activity. This pops up the expression editor, which allows me to create a new variable. With IntelliSense turned off, I can just click on create variable and create myself a new variable. Having created our envelope variable, we may want to expand the extent to get more information on the screen. With IntelliSense turned off, this is difficult because you need to know what the parameters are and how you need to pass them. However, if we turn IntelliSense on, we get guided through this process using auto-completion. To turn on IntelliSense, go to the Edit menu and select the Enable IntelliSense option. Then we go back and open up the expression editor again. If we now put a dot at the end of the variable name, it will expose all the functions and their parameters that are available to us. You can see the list of available parameters. If I hover over the expand, you will see that we get help on this parameter. If I click on the expand option, it automatically adds it to my variable and adds the parentheses. Inside the parentheses, I will need to add the scale factor that I want to expand the envelope by. Well, that's the end of this short demo. Uh, I think you'll agree that IntelliSense does really help us in understanding what functions are available uh, within our various activities. However, there's one thing to bear in mind, and that is with IntelliSense turned on, you don't get a list of variables presented to you. Uh, you have to know the name of the variable. Thanks ever so much for your time, and I look forward to talking to you again soon.